Hey everybody. Well, it's about two weeks to Christmas. There's a snowstorm coming here in northeast Ohio. One of those Alberta clippers they talk about that brings us a lot of lake effect snow. So I'm here in the shop thinking about making a Christmas present. And uh, one of the things I've done in the past has been a, a little footstool. And it's uh, pretty easy to make and uh, I should be able to get it done before Christmas. And we've got another snowstorm. And here it is. Now, I've made four of these so far. And uh, they've all been given to different family members when we exchange gifts on Christmas. And each one's been a little different. Now this one here is the uh, the third one that I made. And uh, you can notice the legs. They have a, I believe they call them a Gabrielle leg. A little slipper foot on the end. And I did some little faux finishing on the sides. The fabric was something I picked up at uh, the discount bin in a fabric store. It's very sturdy and it's been a um, a process making making this in that each one's evolved a little bit differently. The first one that I did was made out of uh, maple and uh, as is this one. Maple sides and the legs are maple. The first one I made, I just had a, a tapered leg. It was a square square leg that just tapered down to a point. Um, the sides were just uh, finished natural and uh, no faux finish on it. And it was very nice. The next year, since it got such uh, rave reviews for a Christmas present, the next year I decided to make another one. And while I was messing around on the lathe, I wanted originally to do a claw foot, a little claw ball foot. But uh, I really didn't know how to do that. And so I figured I'd just do a turning, a turning foot. And um, I was messing around and I did an off-center turn and what I mean by that is that uh, I took the wood blank, the square wood blank and I I, I turned it into a, a circle uh, the, the lower half of it and then once I had the circle turned I moved the center on the slipper foot end and I started returning it and what that did is it threw the center off, obviously, and it gave me the, uh, oh, I don't know what you'd call it, the uh, ankle of the, of the leg. And uh, it saved me from having to uh, do a lot of hand cutting and carving to get that same effect. The third one I did, I decided to do an actual ball and claw. So I turned the leg the same way off-centered and I made it more of a ball instead of this little pad on the bottom and uh, and carved it. Now that that's what we're gonna do for the one that we're gonna make today. We're gonna do a ball and claw foot. We're going to do the faux finish on the uh, sides. This is just maple. 
and it looks like uh, edge banding but it's actually just uh, some mahogany gel stain that I uh, used to do this fringe and then what looks like a ebony inlay is just fake that's just a black magic marker now my original legs were made out of uh, maple that I had at the time and uh, I made up uh, I think 12 of them so that I could do three uh, four 16 legs I think I started out with now we're going to use those maple legs but in order to show you how to turn off center uh, I have to find some new blanks now this stock here is some material that I got uh, okay so I started out with a piece of wood that was about two and a half inches square by about four foot long and I was able to get four pieces an inch and five eighths square by ten and three quarter inches long and uh, I was lucky to get that there were some uh, pretty deep uh, cracks and uh, uh, marks from being a pallet that I I wanted to get rid of but luckily if you look at the stool if you look at the stool on the legs you have two good sides that show and then you have two back sides and if you take a minute and look at your pieces you can usually uh, hide any defects on the back side and put your two best fronts out and uh, so that's the next step I'm gonna assess my uh, blanks and mark them accordingly alright I assessed my pieces and uh, the procedure I used was first I, I looked at the piece to see if there were any obvious defects and then I looked to see if I could put that defect on the back side and then I looked if I could get rid of the defect in the turning which meant that it was a top or a bottom and here you can see uh, a defect where I wasn't able to get full wood on the blank and uh, so I don't want that at the top I know that when I turn I'm gonna get rid of all that wood down there so that made it a bottom this particular piece also has a crack in it right there and uh, I don't think I can get rid of that so that's gonna have to be on the back side so that piece told me the orientation it needed to go in itself if you have all good clear lumber then it, it really doesn't matter but you should mark them anyways just so that you don't get confused you can see that I, I put a little dot on the corner and what that corner is is the face that's going to show I also need to know which face is showing so that when I offset my center I offset it the proper way so the next step is to go ahead and mark them oh the other important thing is uh, you should check your pieces with a square to see if all four corners are square if they're not it's not the end of the world you just want to make sure that when you orient the leg that the square side is the side that's going to receive the uh, rails for the footstool and so that would have to be the back side the front side doesn't really matter it's just there for show All right, you can see that I have uh, I marked my centers and then on the bottom of the blank I offset the center uh, approximately half the distance of the diagonal um, you know this is experimental as far as I'm concerned and I don't really remember how I came up with uh, uh, getting that that new center uh, some of it has to do with the center the live center the live end on my lathe 
it's uh, three quarter inch so it naturally puts a ring right at three eighths of an inch from the center and uh, I think that's how I came up with uh, getting that center and I have not turned any legs that are bigger than um, this inch and five eighths uh, it would be interesting to try a larger leg and uh, see what happens. So the next step is uh, chuck it up in the lathe and start making some sawdust. Alright I chucked the blank up into the lathe and I got my everything set. I put some marks on there and uh, we'll start turning this and uh, the marks indicate the uh, square part of the leg, the upper part and I always put that towards the, the uh, drive center and then the uh, lower end, that, that little mark there, that tells me that's the size of the ball. It's going to be uh, about an inch and a half by inch and a half. And then the uh, area in between, in between is the uh, transition area. And that's where we're going to develop that uh, angle. Now. change my centers and turn the transition area.
that's about it. Okay, I went and I got a rasp and uh, I'm just defining the, the leg a little bit. Uh, you know, easing in the transition areas. take a little bit of paper and just uh, give it a rough sand. Okay, that's looking pretty good. Now, the last thing that I want to do is since we're going to we're going to turn this into a, a ball and claw foot is uh, we're going to be carving some claws on the end here. And the, the, the claws sit on a ball. Now so that I don't have to uh, carve all this material out, I'm going to try to put in a, 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 re a recess of the ball. Uh, it'll also give me something to make the depth of the, of the uh, claws with. So I'm going to kind of redefine this, this area down in here and I'll probably get rid of this so that I can make that ball uh, bigger. Okay, so here's my four legs, and uh, they're in order of uh, the way that they were turned. Number one is on the left, and number four on the right. And uh, there's slight differences in each one, uh, mostly at the, the bottom of the leg there or what would be the top of the leg. Uh, this one's a little shorter. Uh, some of them have more crook around the ankle. And uh, But all in all, I think they came out pretty good. And so now we gotta lay out our uh, 
our feet to be carved and we'll do that next. 